Hi guys, welcome to another quick review. In this quick review, we're taking a look at the different features of the sun. Now, we said the sun was made up of these two gases, okay? And they, that was the hydrogen and helium. And at the center of the sun, the core, that's where nuclear fusion takes place. But because this, there's so much heat and energy and pressure in this core, the, the material is not a solid nor a liquid or a gas, it's something called plasma. So the center is a plasma and the earth has a solid core. So because of that we have two distinct poles on the earth. We have the north pole, I mean on the earth, and that's the north pole and that's the south pole. Because the sun is made of this plasma and gas, it has a it doesn't have the amount, same amount of poles that we have. It actually could have up to millions of poles, or even one pole. And that's because it has huge twisting magnetic fields. And these twisting magnetic fields cause the energy that's being released by the nuclear fission, fusion in this core to become, I don't know, I guess altered or changed. Not changed or altered, but maybe um, look differently. It causes these features on the sun. And the first feature I want to draw your attention to is called prominence. If you look over here, we have this big arch, and prominences are big arches of solar energy. Now, what we have here is a magnetic field line, and this line reaches out, and it, what happens is we have all these charged particles that run along that field line, which creates this gigantic arch. It's actually much, it's actually big enough to pass the Earth through. They ask Earth, Earth could Earth actually go right through this arch, and then down here we have a big blast of energy. So this big blast of energy we call a solar flare. So down here we have a big blast of energy that's called a solar flare. And then you may see, and we'll actually I'll create one on this picture, okay? You may see little dark spots in the center, uh, well not in the center, but on the sun. And these dark spots can appear all around. And we call these dark spots sun spots. And what's happening in the sunspots is that these magnetic fields that we're talking about are so twisted and twined and bundled up into each other that light's not escaping. Well, not as much light is escaping from this area. So, this light, it makes it appear that they are black spots, that no light is leaving at all. But it just appears dark because the light around it is so much brighter than the sunspot. So if we were to take a sunspot and move it into space, and look at it, it actually be much, much brighter than the, than the amount of light that the moon produces for us. So sunspots are really, really dark. And when you have all this twisted magnetic fields, and you have all this energy trapped, of course you gotta get rid of it somehow, and that's what happens, and that's how solar flares occur, because once you get twisted, there's a big explosion, and all this energy is released in the solar flare. So we have so the three main features that we're learning about are the prominences, which are the big arches, so it's a big magnetic field arch, and all we have this energy over it. Then we have the sunspots, which is areas where the mag field, magnetic field is so twisted that it um, prevents some of the light from escaping. So it appears dark, but it is really not. It's just dark in comparison to the area around it. And once those, man those sunspots become so twisted that they eventually ex need to release that energy, and we get a giant solar flare, which we have down here. So, thank you guys for tuning into this video about the features of the sun. And catch our next video about the layers of the sun later on.